like Rapunzel with the bundles got them flown down my back. Y'all know I love a little bit of a hit in the media, so love that song, love that they're putting it into their music because they're just bringing more awareness about normalizing hair and alternative hair, whether it be sewings, weaves, toppers, extensions, whatever it may be, so love. All right, let us get into these grips. Now, you can see the difference between a wig grip, which is this one, and a topper grip, which is this one. The wig grip goes all the way around, um, which works great, um, I had been using it for toppers until I actually got this one. Um, but I like that this top grip, topper grip, um, because when you wear this one, it creates a lot of bulk in the back, which when you wear a wig, it's fine because there's a wig that's covering up to like here. But when you're wearing a topper, it just creates um, a bunch of bulk down here, which I didn't like. But having this like thin plastic, um, you know, line instead of this thick band, it's gonna make a huge difference. Um, so I will, I've been wearing this, I've been posting about it a lot, wearing this so I don't use any clips at all um, on my like follicles or on my scalp, which has been awesome. I specifically use it when I'm like at home or running errands um, or have like a casual day at work. But um, when I'm going out like to a bar or with friends or family event or like holidays, I don't wear this because I just, you know, don't I don't want there to be a chance of it poking out, like having this like thick band poke out because like in the back of your head is like these two like thick, thicker than this um, bands and there's just like more of a likelihood. But I'm curious to experiment to, if I can wear these like literally all the time because this you're probably not going to see. This is just like a random one from Amazon. It was maybe like $13 or something. And then these two are from Milano. Now, one of them is uh, compatible with five by two and one fourth, which is a smaller one. And then the larger one is compatible with toppers nine by two and one fourth base or, or larger. Um, so I wear larger uh, toppers, which are, which are like eight, eight by nine. So you're probably asking, why would you get the five by two and one fourth when, you know, there's another grip that's compatible with larger toppers? Because I want to try them both out. Um, if you look at these two, this is like the smaller one, this is a larger one meant for larger toppers. Um, I noticed on the pictures online that there's this like lace material here. And I wish they made one this size, but with just this complete, like all of this material instead of the lace, because I'm gonna be clipping onto this lace with the front of like my cap, that front clip. And I feel like, I don't know how long it's gonna last because it's a thin material. Um, who knows, it might be like stronger than I think or something. It does feel pretty sturdy, but by clipping at it every day and just like everyday wear, like you can see how this one kind of like lost its elasticity and starts kind of like, it used to be like nice and straight. Now it starts getting these little folds in them. So I was like worried about how this is gonna work out. So time will tell, but it does seem pretty sturdy and such. Gently pull an adjustable strap to tighten or loosen, like according to your head size. Wear with ribbon facing forward on top of head as shown. The clip is supposed to clip onto this front little band or ribbon, which makes sense because that's how I was like doing this one. And then if you notice, so that's why they say this is meant for like a five by two point, like two and one fourth, because this is meant um, probably the sides of the clip to go like onto here. And my toppers are bigger. They're like, they're eight inches. So I'm like, oh, are these gonna be useful or not? Is this gonna work for me? And like, mind you, these are like Milano brand, you know, grips. So they're meant to be completely compatible with the Milano toppers, but I wear Highline, Highline Wigs toppers. So I'm like, oh, hopefully it, it, it doesn't work out. But I feel like I made this one work. I could probably make these other two work. So let me show you how I put on this one in general. I have another video, my previous video, where I showed um, how I use this one. I'll just quickly um, say it really quick. So it's like, I just put it here and then there's Velcro and then just put the Velcro together. And I would, I would put it on top of my hair, not underneath, but like on top, like just like this. 
and I in, in the beginning it wouldn't really slip but with more time I feel like it started losing his elasticity and started stretching I feel like now I feel it kind of like riding up through like the day which is not what is ideal but I do like and then like I would go and I would clip this one originally I started with this one just clipping this clip but then I started clipping these for a little more security and then for ultimate security you'd put it like in the side pony um because that just helps like like really suction it like to your head um and it wouldn't really show especially since i had it in a pony but i feel like if i had it out and i started like moving and such because it's such a thick band there's a possibility of it showing like you can see that which is why i mainly kept it in a pony and i like that if i were to i don't really do high like ponytails because i have a large base but if i were to i feel like I had enough hair to hide the band. See, if I put it underneath, like if I like were not to have the hair underneath it, you would be able to see it. Let's try the small one. So the small one, um, it says right here that it's for the bottom. And then you flip it and you obviously want this little like ribbon to be like at the very front. So I'm gonna try it both ways. The way they say to do it is, um, basically put it underneath your hair. So it's like the band's gonna be like under. So let's first try it the way they said it. And I do think that having bangs helps with this because bangs just helps like cover everything. So you would try to get it like on this little ribbon here, but I feel like it would also work if you just, it might be a little sturdier if you just get it on the whole thing in general. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, it is on. And I noticed since I line my, like you could see it or I can show you, um, I line my cap with like all these clips so I can like rotate them. So that becomes helpful because then I can put these, this clip and then this clip um, on there too. So let me do that. There's just like a little like shimming that has to happen. Okay. Part is straight. Oops, these are open. And I don't have to clip any of them in the back, like anywhere else. But if I wanted to for a little extra, extra security, like if I wasn't wearing, like if I wear it in a pony, like, like on the side or something, I don't think I have to, um, I don't think I have to put a back, the back clip over here. But if I'm wearing it down, which is what I wanna do, I am gonna clip that. So let me just move them up a little bit, these bangs. Okay, that's where I want it. Clip in the back clip over here only. Again, you don't have to if you're putting it like in a pony, but let's see how this feels. And I feel like I've tested it last night and it feels like, like it feels secure. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Okay, so I think this one is a win, even though my base is big and they recommend it for big, uh, the bigger one for bigger bases, like this still works. And like, you can put it behind the ear, you don't really see it. And this side, unless you like lift it terribly, but I'm not gonna do that anyways. So it, it ends like right, right up in here. Oh, it, it's actually kind of nice because like the cap ends here like right here. And this is literally where the topper ends. So this actually turned out to be better than I expected because I thought it wasn't gonna work out because it's such a large cap, but this one is a win. Okay, and then this time I wanna try it without putting it underneath here like I did in the last, um, with the last one or the last try on. So, so this is just putting it on top here it's not really what they recommend, but I feel like I might not want to do it either because it's kind of, I feel like it starts slipping easily since my hair is so like soft and like slick. Um, there's not much grip unless I make it tighter here. That's something I have to experiment with, 
but um just throw this on quick yeah like i could feel it like it's not really moving a lot now but like i feel like maybe through the day it might um so like let's say i have it on but i like that like if if i were to put it like in a pony or like a higher then you really won't see it because i have like my bottom hair that covering it you see it's like in here somewhere which if you do it the way they instruct you to do it you would see it underneath here so something to experiment with um it does feel like it's moving oh yeah it definitely is so maybe adding a clip or something i don't know um but for now i think i'm going to try wearing it the way it's instructed okay so now i'm going to wear it the way it's instructed underneath the hair so you see the band and so this is like gonna be the ultimate test because i plan on migrating to a non-bang topper soon that i just got and it's a little shorter and it's less hair so it's like more of it's and no bangs so i feel like this is the ultimate test to see if these are gonna work um the only thing is i don't have clips in the front yet i had to sew them in because i just got this which i think would be the best thing way to use these when you have like clips in the front but let's try it anyways um just to see how it works because if it works this way then it's really gonna work with a clip in the front so since these clips are here, yeah, they're too far back to wear it with this. But anyways, let's see. Let's see how this is going to work. So I feel like, is it going to be visible? Maybe push it back a little bit. And I might try to use my own hair to blend, the, you know, with the part better. So when I put my hair in a pony, it would be usually like a slow side pony. I feel like it's definitely not noticeable since that band is so thin. I've like never been able to like color my hair since it started falling out like 15, 16 years ago. So, and when I did, it was just like sad. <laughs> so I want to see how it is to wear some, a little bit of color. So okay i feel like it will work out because once i have the front clips i can do the same thing i did with the other ones like clip it here and then pass a little bit even here and then like let hair out beforehand so i can use it to like blend in everything and again it's like underneath the cap so i didn't think this one i had a feeling it might not work out i wasn't really sure but it feels like it will because it's super flat like and less clipping and stress on my hair follicles um so yes and on this one there's obviously not one in the front because that's where the lace is but for me i don't find it necessary to clip onto these little like elastic bands i find it just as easier maybe even easier to clip it just directly onto the fabric instead of like trying to like fidget to find like the right um the right spot for this and i feel like when it clips onto the on, onto the clip or when it clips onto this it like doesn't grab it as well this little thing as much as it does when it grabs like a, the whole side of the fabric so everybody's got to play around and see what works for them so this is meant for more of like lace toppers um but i don't have that so let's see if it works because i was thinking this one would work the you know the best because of um it's larger and meant for a larger topper. So it definitely comes lower. So. Okay. Oh, yeah, it just feels significantly like more delicate than the like actual, that harder, that thicker material. Okay. So with this one, because of the way the topper is shaped, I feel like I cannot clip three clips in the front. And if I do, it's kind of like, mm, maybe. Well, I feel like without bangs, it might not work. With bangs, it looks like it will work. So I got those three in, three, three clipped. So 
one, two, three. Yeah, that's doable. How's it feel? Pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> Some hair whips. And that's without the black, the back clip clipped. Um, so yeah, this one also feels good. I have still yet obviously to know the longevity of these, but the good news is that they come with uh, extra each pack. Comes with like a little bag that has an extra um, clear, um, you know, the string or whatever that keeps it around your head. Um, so I'm really into it being a lot more discreet, which makes like less bulk in, on your head and it's like more comfortable. Um, so yes, and I feel like doing, adding as many clips as I do, which is what I'm planning on doing with the other topper is really helpful because then you can maybe like clip one clip one day and then the other day maybe clip these or all three to add more security. Um, I am all about wearing these toppers with like less added direct stress onto your already thin, delicate follicles. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys found this helpful. Again, every topper is different. Like if you have a smaller cap or a bigger cap, it might work better for you. It, you know, the smaller one might work better. The bigger one might work better. So just like take a look at like my cap, which is again, um, eight by nine and taking consideration into consideration, like what I've said about both of these, um, because that, you know, since everyone has different size caps and everyone has different companies, just because um, it works for me doesn't mean it necessarily works for you unless you kind of like take what I said and like, you know, apply it to your topper. Again, if you have the Milanos, they're made for that. So they would for sure work perfectly. But I feel like with any, you know, adjustments, maybe adding clips, taking away clips, movie clips, these definitely could work for you. Be sure to check me out on Instagram if you're interested to see how they're working for me, um, how they work without bangs and all of that. It is the same name as it is here. I work crown hair on Instagram. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this video about wig and topper grips helpful. Don't forget we are fierce, knowledgeable, and taking control. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.